Hey guys, welcome back. In this episode, we're talking about candlestick charts, specifically my top three price patterns for trading Bitcoin with candlestick charts. So I've actually been using candlesticks for close to 20 years now in a wide range of different markets. And I noticed that a lot of people actually make some pretty big mistakes when it comes to using these types of charts. So today I just wanted to really simplify things and show you my top price patterns. And before we do that, let's just talk a little bit about what price charts really are because some people think there's like some kind of like magic behind price charts and if you just learn how to like see the future you can predict what all markets are going to do but really what candlestick and really all price charts are at their core is a visual representation of the actions of all market participants what does that mean? Well, that's a fancy way of saying, what has everybody done in a market, right? What were all the executed orders that happened? Doesn't matter if it's Bitcoin, oil, gold, stocks, futures, whatever, right? Anytime you're looking at a chart, all the price action is, is a historical representation of what all traders and investors and algorithms and basically anybody who's placing orders, it's like a historical record of what those orders were and what actual executed trades occurred. And so there's a wide variety of tools and indicators and oscillators and you know, different things you can use to measure and quantify price action. But at its core, if you just learn how to keep this simple, um, it can actually really be a powerful tool. So let's go ahead and just jump right in and talk about the three different price patterns. So the first one is what I call my movie theater exit reversal. And the key thing to keep in mind before we look at any of these price patterns is whenever we're looking at price, we want to ask, what are the people behind this price action thinking and doing and why are they doing that, right? And so whenever we look at this first price pattern, the movie theater exit, think about what would happen if you're in a movie theater and you're watching a movie and somebody gets up and screams fire, right? Or shoots a gun in the air or something. Everybody's going to head for the exit at the same time, right? And what's going to happen is the exits, you know, they're only like one regular door size. So it, they're going to get clogged, right? And so when you have everybody that's rushing for the exit in a market, what that typically looks like on the price chart is a big panic in selling. Okay, so when everybody's rushing for the exit at the same time, price crashes really, really fast, really hard. Well, imagine what would happen when everybody that's rushing through the exit and the door is really jam packed. What happens when everybody gets outside? Well, on the inside, if there is no fire, uh, then it's dead quiet again, right? And things kind of go back to normal. That's really how it happens in the markets as well, especially in Bitcoin. Like this is just, you can go back and manually back test this yourself and see how actually reliable this really is. And that's when you're looking at price patterns, that's what you're looking for. You're not looking for price patterns that work 100% of the time. You're looking for price patterns that have a statistical advantage we call high probability right? Just like a casino, they know at a blackjack table or at the craps table, they're not going to win every hand, but maybe it's only 50.01% of the time they win. That's called a high probability. That means you're winning more than you're losing, right? And that's what I look for whenever I'm testing and, and looking for opportunities in different markets. And so, in this one, specifically the movie theater exit reversal, what I'm looking for is a price panic that goes somewhere in between 30 to 50% or more over the course of one to three days. So again, I'll type that out. So 30% to 50% sell-off uh, over the course of one to three days on average, okay? And so you can see here back in, you know, I've been trading Bitcoin since early 2013 and going back to late 2013, this is when these price patterns really started to happen a lot and they became really reliable. So you can see here in December of 13, over the course of three days, price fell by over 50%. Right. And then just a, a week or so later, price had another opportunity where over the course of three days, it fell by over 50%. And what I look to do is I look to buy these reversals. So again, when everybody's panicking, 
I really like to be a buyer. And when everybody is euphoric and slapping each other on the back and congratulating each other, that's usually a good time to sell. Uh, and if we fast forward, you know, you can see now we have several years of price action to actually look at this on. You can see here back in um, late 2014, we had a, a three or four day slide of about 30%. And, and you can see, actually, let, let's kind of back up. You can see the bounces on these. This is really what your reward is. or if And you're not going to nail the low, but if you can get close to the low, you can see this was an 80% bounce, right? And from this low, over the course of a couple of weeks, this was a 160% bounce. So again, it's not about being perfect. It's about catching the meat of the move. But you can see here over the course of a couple of days, 50% bounce. And then this was actually the low in early 2015, we actually bought this at 188. I've talked about this several times in past videos, but uh, we actually had 100%. So basically the price of Bitcoin over the course of two weeks doubled from the 150 to about 300 bucks. And then let's jump to where we are uh, closer to today's activity, uh, where recently we had a big panic. And this scared the hell out of a lot of people where price basically dumped over the course of less than about 48 hours from 8K down to 4K. So it was over or right at about a 50% panic in price. Well, guess what, guys? We actually bought this. So um, in the trading room, we sent some alerts. We were buying on the way down in the 5K and then as low as about 4,100. Um, so again, this is one of my favorite favorite price patterns, and that's called the movie theater exit reversal pattern. Okay, now let's talk about pattern number two, and that's what I call the popped stop run breakout. Okay, what does that mean? Well, let's again think about the people and the market participants behind this. What actually happens in the real world when this pri price pattern plays out on the chart is you have a market top that everybody sees and then they play, a lot of people get short and they place their stop orders above that market top. So again, when you're shorting, you're basically selling, looking for price to go down and then buy back at a lower price and you can make money as prices actually go down. But what happens is, is if you're short and price goes up, you actually lose money. So what a lot of people will do is place stop orders above where they shorted. So if price goes against them, they will have to buy. It's called a buy stop market order, right? So they'll buy back in at a loss. And so you can see here what happened. This was a really good example of this in uh, early 2017. Um, in Bitcoin, we actually had a top that came in right here around 1300 bucks. There was some news around China that came out. Um, I did a lot of uh, YouTube videos around this time just talking about how I didn't think this was the all-time high in Bitcoin and things were just getting started. And you can see we had this really big reversal day. And so what happened was all through the month of March 2017, you had a lot of people that were shorting Bitcoin going, oh, this is it. Bitcoin's dead. It's the top. And so you can see because the highs were around here around 1300 there were a lot of stop orders here through like 13 and 1400 and so as price was coming down this made shorts really nervous and as price started to come up to challenge this you can see once we actually broke back up above 1300 there was a really fast run right and that's why i call it a popped stop run because you're popping those stops. You're basically price is making a run. And when you hit all of those buy orders, right? Because again, if you're shorting anywhere over here to cover that, to get out of that trade or to close that trade, you either buy lower at a profit or you buy higher at a loss. And so when you have all these buy stop orders that are getting hit, that creates kind of this waterfall of buying activity. And then when you combine that with everybody else who's buying the breakout, that's why you just, you see these really aggressive runs when price breaks a major resistance area where there's likely a lot of stops behind that. So that's price pattern number two that I'm a huge fan of. And then the third and final price pattern is what I call the trap and crap pattern. Uh, pretty funny name, but let's talk about what happens in the real world again, and then we'll talk about how this plays out on the price chart. So what happens is in step one, you have a big trend. Okay. So this is uh, Bitcoin early last year. We went from basically 4k to 14k and we were trading this trend on the way up. But what happens is 
is everybody gets really euphoric and they start thinking, oh yeah, hey, Bitcoin's back. It's going to keep going up forever. So that's step one is you have a big trend. Step number two is you start to get lower highs, which is an early sign of weakness. So a lot of people are buying, buying, they're buying dips. Some people are buying the tops for some reason, but basically you have a trend that's intact and then you start to see these lower highs. And then step three is the crap. So it's the trap is the lower highs. And then the crap is when you actually break major support. And this can be a good opportunity to either a close profit, close trades from the prior trend or actually get short. And why I call it a trapping crap is because it traps people into thinking that this price trend is going to keep going forever. And then you get kind of these early signs of a reversal. And then when it breaks, it traps and then craps on everybody, right? It just, and, and you get kind of another, sometimes you get one of those uh, first patterns that we talked about, which is the rush for the exit. In this case, not really. It basically went flat and uh, sold off a little bit over the past or the next couple of months. But the general idea is, is that step one, you get a trend. Step two, you have early signs of weakness, but people continue to buy in anticipation of that. And then it craps on everybody. So this is again, a good place to either manage your existing long trade, or you could actually get short. So I hope this lesson is helpful. You know, when it comes to charting and technical analysis, there's so much to learn and I like to just really simplify it. And so what I'm going to be doing next week is actually doing a live masterclass where I'm going to talk about how to master price charts. Um, you know, there's so many different things you can do like pinpointing trade setups, entry areas, profit targets, and stop zones. And so I really just wanted to take about an hour, hour and a half to give you guys like all, the whole like range of things that you can use price charts for. Um, so again, this is going to be live. It's not like pre-recorded or a hybrid webinar. Um, I'm going to show you guys really how I use this to pinpoint entries, find profit targets, and really like the whole trade or investment process. So again, I hope this lesson was helpful. I'll link this up in the description if you want to join me. That's going to be next uh, Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And if you're watching this video sometime in the future, I'll try to put up a recording of this somewhere. But uh, just make sure to go ahead and click that link if you want to join me on Tuesday. Should be a lot of fun. So again, Feel free to go back and backtest all of these price patterns. Uh, these are some of my favorite. You know, again, the movie theater exit reversal, amazing for dip buying when everybody else is freaking out. Uh, number two, the pop stop run breakout when everybody's getting short and the odds are starting to flip to the other side. Uh, and then number three, a trap and crap, uh, which catches a lot of people off guard. But hopefully with this pattern, you'll learn how to manage risk a little better or even flip it and get short. So I uh, hope this is helpful. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. As always, subscribe, share this with a friend, and like this if you want to see more episodes and lessons like this one. Take care, guys. See you later.